from Slow So Sue. I'm good. How are you? Uh, welcome back and welcome if you're a new viewer. Uh, it's been months since my last confession and this is a big one. So today is all about the fabric haul. I have been sewing. I have on. Let me just do a quick little stand up for you. So this is the Anna Bodice by By Hand London. Um, not quite invisible zip in a stretch cotton sateen with an um, A-line dress by the Avid Seamstress skirt on the Anna Bodice. I made <clears throat> five, yes, I made five of these dresses, um, just one with the boat neck and then I made another four with the V-neck as like a work uniform with pockets they look really nice and uh, they're just easy really easy so um, that's something I've been making but what I've been doing just lately is I have been spending a lot of money on fabric I'm actually really scared to add up how much money I've spent on fabric recently so uh, let's not talk about that. Let's just look at the fabulousness of the fabrics. They're kind of in my little shelving system just here. So I'm going to turn, oops, pick some up and show you. Let's start with some jerseys. Now I've bought quite a lot, but I have something new to sew for in the family, which is fabulous. Um, so my daughter's partner is a um, very fit young man. He does like strongman type competitions and bodybuilds and whatever. And he has very, very broad shoulders and really big biceps. You know, when there's, you know, they have the boys all work out and have that V-shaped thing going on. So he's abnormally large here. To the rest of him and pardon me so a lot of ready-to-wear stuff just doesn't really fit very well and so I said I'll make you some clothes I'm happy to do it so anyway I've bought some polar fleece so and some really nice so this is it looks navyish there it's not I'll get the navy and show you so I bought these two polar fleeces to make a jacket for him with some black ribbing. So just with a hood. Um, <coughs> excuse me. You know, just to play around because something else that I bought just recently is a cover stitch machine. So I did put a picture on Instagram. It's the brother... CV3550, I'll put it down here. Um, so, I'm a lot. So, I, I want to play around with that. So, I've bought quite a bit of jersey sort of fabric, stretch fabrics for that reason. I've bought this is, um, we have in a, in, well, uh, luckily it's in Perth, but they sell Australia wide, I'm not sure if they sell internationally. Um, a shop called Knitwit, Knitwits, and it's just all knit fabric and it's beautiful. They have some really, really lovely quality stuff. Um, this is a very drapey rayon jersey printed. I was planning, that's sort of true to colour. I was planning on making a top myself with this. Maybe. Um, a wanted top, long sleeves, or an Agnes, something like that. Just a you know a nice t-shirt. Then <coughs> I picked. I just you know when you go into a fabric store and you see some fabric and you just you look at it and think that's really nice. Well. This 
was that fabric for me. Um, just hold it up here. It's um, it's not the best quality jersey in the sense it doesn't have a lot of stretch. It's quite thin. You can see through it. You should show you that one. Um, but I don't know. I just I just loved the print, and I just thought whenever I, I was drawn to it, and I thought the Hudson pants from Green Style would be really nice. So, but I just was like, I'm having it. And then there was this other fabric that I. This is all from Knitwits that I was really drawn to, which is this fabric here. Now on the bolt, it let me go that way. On the bolt, it looked like and felt like a jersey fabric, a printed stretch jersey. But when I washed it, it's actually like a cross between a fleecy and a French terry. So I'm just going to see if I can hold that up to the camera. Down. Let's try it around that way. Let's see. The little loops there, it's sort of. I don't know, anyway, it's soft. It's nice. Um, so that was going to be something for me. I was thinking um, like a zip up hiking cardi, something like that eventually, but didn't have a pattern in mind. Then I have actually been, so that's my start of my knit purchasing and these are just from these are spotlight purchases so this is just some more really nice cotton jersey to make uh, t-shirts for Wayne this one this one's for me when I was very young I had a long sleeve t-shirt which was a little bit like the Agnes in that it had the um, mutton sleeve top it also had massive shoulder pads in those mutton sleeve tops and it was this colour I loved it and I'm going to make it again so that was that one and then we all love a spot right this I am planning to make a winter dress. This is just cotton stretch jersey. Oh, it's a little bit see through there. With in my in my mind, I see a wanted top. So the bodice will be a wanted top pattern, and then um, either a full circle skirt or I don't think I'll do a gathered circle skirt that's a bit like the Mineta but I'm not keen on a gathered circle skirt for the jersey I think probably a full or maybe a three-quarter circle skirt and make it quite long so it will be a couple of inches off like my ankle so you can wear just a little booty and you'll see a little bit of stocking because just a glimpse of stocking is very shocking and that should be nice with really long sleeves because they get cold in the winter. So then, because I have this fabulous new cover stitch machine, I've gone crazy on the purchasing of stretchy things to sew on it. I don't know why, because you can sew woven things on it as well. But anyway, I have. So I have bought a few pieces from Super Cheap Fabrics, which is an Australian website oh, I don't know if they sell internationally maybe they do um, anyway 
I picked a few different pieces thinking I can mix and match to make some more um, exercise wear, active wear for running. I need some longer tops again for the winter soon. So I have this lovely leafy pattern. So these are all stretch lycras. So that's one. A massive pile in here, and then this one. I don't, I don't think this really looks like this in the uh, on the website. For some reason, I don't know. I thought it was a smaller print. Let me find a way to show you without making too much of a mess. I'm not really sure how this might work. <laughs> probably be a long sleeve top because the print's so big and then maybe down the sides where there isn't print I could use it as an insert for um, leggings or something we'll see then there's this there's a theme here of lots of blues um, I just quite liked this sort of more like an oceany, fishy, leafy print. I quite like that. So that will definitely become leggings with some other plain colour probably and a running top. And then there's this one which is um, this is really slinky and it might just become like a cow neck top or something you know like um some because it's so drapey it might become something with a lot of drape in it it's really soft and lovely so <laughs> Don't be fooled, she's a monster. She's so naughty. It's lucky she's beautiful. That's all I'm saying. All right, where were we before we were interrupted by that cuteness? Okay, here she, here we go. And then these are my favorites. I'm not really sure how they're gonna work, but I bought these with the idea that they would go together somehow. And it was because I saw something similar in a surf store it was active wear but it was billabong rusty someone and it was a similar sort of um, two different pale pink prints together in the leggings and the top and I just oh, hang on let's see so we've got here flutterbys butterflies and then this gorgeousness. So there's sort of lovely beautiful colours in there. I really, really like that. And I just thought that they would look really good together. Something. So they're going to become something. So that, my friends, is all the stretch. I just paused the video and I went to my cupboard and I thought, oh, you know, I do have a couple more jerseys to show. And then I saw all the stuff I have left to show and I went, mm, I think I'm going to stitch some things together and do a bit more of this video tomorrow night. And now I'm going to go and have a shower, have some dinner, wash some towels. I'll do some more tomorrow. I've got a lot to share. Alright, I'll see you all then. Bye. Mm -hmm.